and he had dinner with, um, he's been hanging out with Milo Yiannopoulos and Nick Fuentes. Aren't you glad you learned who Nick Fuentes was? Just three was? gay guys in a polycule slash throuple doing their thing. And they had dinner with Donald Trump. Yeah. And at first, Donald Trump really liked Nick Fuentes and said to Kanye, I really like this guy. <laughs> he gets me. And Ye said he was impressed with Fuentes. And then Trump issued a statement on Truth Social because he still won't come back to Twitter, which mm-hmm. I think is hurting him because he needs the to really soar. He needs the restriction of the limited characters. Wait, but you did did you see that somebody was I don't know how true this is, but somebody mm-hmm. was saying that um, Elon Musk plans to change the character limit from 280 to 420. <laughs> I've heard that, but that's too many. <laughs> I was just like, you guys should just merge with Substack at that point. This let's is an keep, essay writing website. Let's keep it Don't pithy. threaten me with a good time. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> I've got some thoughts. Um, yeah. So then he claimed that he was sort of blindsided by Nick and doesn't really know who he is. I know uh, Donald Trump. He's just like he's me. Just he has like no he fucking like, idea who Nick Fuentes is. Who this guy is. I'm sorry, because <laughs> um, Fuentes is a obviously a outspoken racist, anti semite, Holocaust denier, sexist, homophobe, which is very weird. But he's not. He's like a Latinx. He's a Latinx, and he's hanging out with Kanye, who's black, Jewish, and gay. Yeah, yeah. These guys are all <laughs> all hypocrites and liars. Um. And Milo Yiannopoulos, who's Greek, Jewish, and gay. We have. Uh, which made me think of that um, Orwell quote that I saw today that was like, um, uh, what did it say? It's a good one. The um, trust a snake before a Jew and a Jew before a Greek, <laughs> but don't trust an Armenian. <laughs> well, I tweeted this, but my feeling about this whole debacle is that it's really giving cursed yeah and oh god when i was searching for a coat my brain is so broken and poisoned i was Uh like looking at coats online and in my head i was like oh it's giving coat (laughs) (laughs) i was like i need to find a coat that's giving coat but this really is giving cursed i feel like the kardashians have put a armenian curse on him that he i don't know how he can he can undo it Kanye yeah and I don't think he should be the president because clearly something real like black magic is afoot um I don't think he should be the president because he is a guy who has the attention span of a fruit fly (laughs) and cannot keep up the momentum required to run a campaign for two years let alone assume leadership of a nation it's not gonna happen which should which should be an immediate alarm bell an immediate red flag that this is not about a legitimate and Mm well-meaning presidential bid and it's just it's literally just an attempt to like undermine and outflank donald trump but in the gayest most retarded way possible but why (laughs) because people don't he used to like trump I know, but now I mean there People was like are a off the Trump train. Yeah, there Anna. was. It's really upsetting. People want to divide the right and cock block Trump, uh, which like also, it's not guaranteed. By the way, that Trump is even going to win remotely because, because forget about the right wing forces. There are many powerful left wing and liberal forces arrayed against him already. Now I sound like a conspiracy theorist. Hey. But hey, he got he got like um, investigated and impeached and raided and <laughs> had articles written about uh-huh. him left and right. Grab her by the pussy, <coughs> which was a hilarious moment in our history. There's been a lot, and I I, I guess some of my enthusiasm has has cooled but i still find him you know maybe it's nostalgia maybe yeah. i you know 2016 feels so uh uplifting mm-hmm. to, to reminisce about that mm-hmm. i still have this attachment to trump but i really just do i i like the guy me too <laughs>
I, I f- I'm loud and proud in saying that I like the guy and I, like I, and I guy. would vote for him. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, this whole, I mean, I guess, you know, a lot of people were saying, you know, chiefly BAP, but some other people were saying that this was a replay of Yang mm. where he was brought in as like Yang gang. Uh, yeah. A third random candidate to like undermine the Trump train, but this is even gayer and more retarded because it is it literally like it's it's a multiracial coalition of the most annoying retards. It's super doomed. Yeah, it's it's cur- it's it's a cursed alliance. Yeah, like literally, just like water park minorities, fucking uh, deracinated secretly latinx wig <laughs> sinister homosexuals just like the charm and bears of society mm. the kardashians exactly people who are still charm and bears in spite of being filthy rich with their like hybrid indoor outdoor furniture but that's and their that, fleece know. tweety bird pants yeah trump at least has a slightly more aspirational gilded yeah atmosphere but it's they are both very you know it's very american yeah at the same at the same time yeah it's an american is now like synonymous with low class yeah exactly it's gaudy it's like irrelevant (laughs) but i like trump's um, annoying like gilded and gaudy low class i prefer that to the yay athleisure and tweety bird fleece and those like fuzzy comfort socks that you get at cvs low class Mm -hmm. yeah like buffalo wild wings taco bell cantina vibes (laughs) which i love which i love Um, in moderation but yeah aesthetically as a politic yeah i just want something something more and it's also like such a Kanye move to like not read the room and arrogantly and condescendingly impose yourself and then feel and then feel like slighted and misunderstood when people are like, get the fuck out of here. I don't know who Nick Fuentes is. Well, Trump told him not to run for president. He right. Would, uh, they would and then what Kanye said, Kanye asked Trump to be his vice president. Yeah. Which is like, I'm sure like Confucius or Sun Tzu. <laughs> had i'm i'm convinced that one of them i I think it was sun tzu had had a whole line about how like you need to know thy enemy Mm -hmm. you need to know where you stand in the hierarchy before you go around making claims and demands yeah well kanye famously has never read a book um yeah him and vincent gallo yeah so he's he just he hasn't read that one he doesn't yeah true but he can he could read the art of war like he, he could listen to the audio book or have one of his handlers turn it into a keynote <laughs> that's true yeah that's true. just like pluck the main talking points out it's i don't have a, yeah i don't have a good feeling about no it. i don't either i don't Make either some music yeah get back in the studio yeah, Come yeah. On. he's he's stronger making art just like ron DeSantis is stronger staying in florida exactly he also he's not going to run for president this is just like an embarrassing dog and pony show DeSantis interference campaign kanye both but kanye yeah kanye's yeah it doesn't have the wherewithal desantis i think just might not because he's too smart mm-hmm. but like okay all that aside it's just so embarrassing i feel like a libtard confronted with trump <laughs> This is what's going to break my brain. I'm like, this is so like, outrageous is and immoral. I'm yeah. like, Ben Shapiro. Sir, Mr. Kanye, Mr. Ye. <laughs> Mr. Ye, please. They were fighting today. Shapiro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is, it's, uh, <laughs> he shouldn't be this proximate to sort of our realm of loser interest. Yeah. He shouldn't be talking to no Ben Shapiro. Well, Ben Shapiro is kind of a big kahuna. He Whatever is, you think about him, he's he's literally just uh, celebrities need their own sphere. I know, I know. They should really stay like um, ensconced in the glamour of Hollywood and not cross pollinate with like internet influencers and uh, 
like right wing blue checks, whatever. I mean, okay, Ben Shapiro, as annoying and insufferable as he is, has he 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 has the right idea by like running a media empire. <laughs> he does. We can't help it. He's he's at the very <laughs> least rich and successful. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's done something right for sure. Yeah, whereas it remains to be seen whether Kanye A has any money and B can hold on to his money. Mm -hmm. He seems broke. Yeah, I think maybe. Yeah, though my trainer posited Uh that uh, this was a while ago when he was like back when he was saying like. Adidas won't drop me. I'll say something anti-Semitic and mm-hmm. Adidas won't drop me. And then they did. Um, my trainer, who is black, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, he told me, he was like, what if it's a genius move to like get out of all of these contracts? Yeah, that's smart. That's smart. Um, but it's not. And they say blacks are low IQ. It's not seeming uh-uh. that way. They say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's not seeming that way like Mm -hmm. like a five-dimensional power play move but more will be revealed i don't know know? yeah no i don't i think that's probably giving him too much credit but like a plus for effort i like i like the creativity yeah and innovativeness of his take i thought (laughs) smart Um, yeah i i read some rolling stone story about how kanye was like watching porn in the adidas offices and (laughs) and trying to name an album hitler which actually is like he should stick to that that's cool that's like when when nas tried to name his album and hard r (laughs) well yeah okay so him um showing pornography in like adidas business meetings is now like a news item yeah but <clears throat> when he went on that podcast drink champs mm-hmm. um that was then like taken offline this i don't know about. maddie saved it and put it in her google drive Smart. and then that got taken that got taken down off yeah google drive how because they they re- they really they really don't want us to hear what he has to say um but he talked about that on that podcast uh-huh. he was like talking about how he would show it wasn't it, there's no like smoking gun like he right. has already been talking about all this i listened to the clip where he where he talks about it um he also praises sambas which i was like yes <laughs> i like a, i like a samba yeah he was like that's a great shoe i was like classic, amen brother classic shape okay, i'm gonna play i'm gonna play an audio clip you have the audio clip yeah yeah for the Adidas because what does Adidas stand for anyway by the way all day I dream about sex true <laughs> 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 I think Adidas that's what Adidas I'm gonna find out what Adidas me and Jesus gonna have the arm wrestle cause I'm gonna when I see God it's like yo bro why you how you make it where like I'm on some Adidas shit where all day I dream about sex but then in the in the Bible you told me I'm not supposed to what Mm -hmm. (laughs) sorry can you unpack that for me we're like nodding along like two retards um i (laughs) he's he's making a lot of sense right now he's he is sort of lamenting something that you know many saints and christian thinkers through time have Uh like wrestled with which is like we have uh horny procreative sexual desires and Uh yet it's it's wrong to uh what does that have to do with manufacturing sneakers all day long i dream about sex well no he should he i feel like the point he was making was he was like showing pornography at adidas Uh um because he's it's something he wrestles with as an as an artist and a pornography addict Uh and I don't know. I think he he's so porn sick that he wants that influence, the influence of it in his creative. Endeavors. Right. You know, like okay. he's, he was, it was I think he had there was a point. I don't think he was just like obviously he's manic. He's unwell. Yeah. But I don't think it was <laughs> the, the point wasn't just to like uh, shock and scandalize the 
Adidas desk jockeys. It was about how I, everyone is obsessed with with pornography. So like shit, it, it wasn't to shit test people. I mean, probably. I think he, I think he probably just has that instinctual, uh, crazy people, uh, superpower for smelling other people's weakness and exploiting it. <laughs> oh, I'm mm. so suspicious of of the Christianity thing too. Mm. That that's now being pawned off on us as this new political platform that like uh, as Kanye is trying to do or or they are trying to do with Kanye like the whole concept that Kanye is a better Christian than Trump is laughable on its face I mean there is no better yeah but but the idea that he's like a spokesman for Christianity just because he says so it's almost as laughable as the idea that he can successfully run a presidential campaign well he's certainly not you know, uh, in any kind of <clears throat> clerical position, or he mm. does, he doesn't have any uh, authority really. But as a spokesperson for Christianity, I mean, yeah, but it, it all sounds Saint very... Augustine famously, you know, also was a big like porn addict, horny perv, <laughs> yeah, and like famously said, like God, like grant me chastity, but like not yet. My you know, it's it's just it is it's it's being it, that that's not to me necessarily at odds with him him being a Christian. That's very, you know, lots of uh, Christians are obsessed with Saint Augustine. Also said that before the fall, uh-huh. before um, Eve ate the apple, right uh-huh. in the Garden of Evil, Eden, <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> in right the Garden of Evil, uh, people would have sex flaccid. That like sex was so. Wait, chaste. I thought that people didn't have sex until Eve ate the apple. They had sex, but it was um. They were. They wasn't. They weren't metaphorically hor- hor- they weren't speaking. Horny, right. They weren't. It was like the, this perfectly pure, chaste sex that doesn't exist yeah. anymore because now we've they we're were fallen. Just, they were just animals. They had no um, higher consciousness. Yeah, or sentience. And part of the the anguish of that of, reminds me of that song. It's like <clears throat> you and me, baby, are nothing but mammals. So let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. <laughs> That's how they used to do it. That should be like Nick Fuentes' campaign song if he ever runs for office. <laughs> it's gonna be it's, He's it's like automatically cringe and gay. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And yet he looks mm. like a toothless meth addict from Texarkana He's with so like an absentee weird. Mexican father. He's so. How does he do him. it? <laughs> um, part of the anguish of Christianity, yeah, is um, having to live with your the human condition of being horny and knowing that it's that it's wrong but are these people really horny or are they just adult kanye's horny i don't believe that i think he's i think he's just like adult we we define the difference like he's he's porn sick you know like when you're when you're scrolling to fap and you just keep scrolling through videos Mm. and like you know manically and addictively and (laughs) things catch your eye but nothing really Mm. sticks and you have that kind of metallic feeling of dread Mm -hmm. i think he has that like 24 7 yeah i don't i don't buy that he's actually even that horny i don't buy that kim's horny kim i don't think yeah horny but yeah, maybe horniness is, is is the wrong the wrong term for it, but there is something about, you know, the human being that I mean, that's how we all got here was our parents were horny. That's, you know. That's true. Everyone has is you know, beside. That's why marriage You hear that transgenders, a man and a woman <laughs> had to procreate to produce you. <laughs> You can opt out of the gene pool all you want, but it doesn't make being horny any less wrong. And you still have to live with it. Mm -hmm. Um, I lost my train of thought. I forget. No, but okay. But my my thing is like, I I feel just like really sick. And uh, you're sick of Christianity. And suspicious of this new um, Christianity as a political platform thing, because well, chiefly because it does sound very enticing and appealing. Here you have a, a unifying program with a historical basis that transcends any petty partisan jockeying and inter-ethnic warfare. And 
we can be like all you know one big happy trad family Mm -hmm. and it, it you know it all seems nice and good but what it really feels like to me is like people are selling you a bill of lies they're selling you a real faustian bargain because they're they're telling you to settle to lower your ambitions to be a loser to enter the longhouse <laughs> and I feel mean, morally superior and i mean that with no disrespect by the way um uh for christianity as a religion or my christian friends who have a personal relationship with god but I when think, it becomes yeah. a political thing Right. I think you're conflating Christianity with like a larger trad. Yes. Trad but that's movement. what but that's, that's what they're selling, even though they're not they're pretending not to. And very much so in, you know, like people who attend Latin masses, for example, or pract- you know, who are, you know, trad Catholics, yeah. they are largely opting into like a reactionary political philosophy alongside what they claim is like a reverence for the latin mass or whatever and the past and tradition and and nostalgia which is really just like lowering your expectations like the uh, mad tv skit um and you know it does feel right like there's a christian revival underway Mm -hmm. um but in reality there is no large-scale christian revival underway outside of certain social scenes or social circles i I would say that people if i i guarantee if you crunch the stats we need to get steve saylor up in here or mike tracy or one of these other men who know how to play with numbers if you crunch the stats i guarantee you people are are becoming um more and more unglued from religion especially the younger generations whether you identify as like atheist or agnostic or whatever Mm -hmm. I would say there's probably a decline in Christian like feeling across the board in America. And secondly, there's all these different Christian groups like Fuentes is a Catholic, right? And he mm-hmm. wants a Catholic government in America, mm-hmm. which He's is an integralist. hilarious because there's already plenty of Catholics in government. And American Catholicism is functionally Protestant and a total yeah. joke. And also, sure. yeah, America is a Protestant. If, if we're talking about Christianity, it's a Protestant country. And also there's so many different um, Christian groups who cannot settle on a single definition of christianity are fundamentally at odds with each other catholics don't have that issue quite as much though they have have schism modern schisms between them the, it's a bigger problem in in orthodoxy right where yeah. there's like russian orthodoxy greek orthodoxy Ukraine. i was looking at orthodox churches in new york recently actually and it was like the romanian or and they all have their own like synods and they all have their own there is there's very little unity amongst like orthodox christians christianity as a whole yeah has yeah. been in schism since the east west schism and also in decline just like objectively functionally speaking i'm not I, i'm not someone, ruling out the possibility of, of like a, an actual dude, good faith revival happening down the line but um it's not happening in the 2024 <laughs> presidential race i mean i go to church and there's definitely not a lot of people <laughs> Yeah, and there's and you there's know. a reason why like uh, Christian. You can write all the think pieces you want about like Dimes Square aesthetic Catholicism, but basically no one's uh, going to church. Yeah, and there's a reason why uh, Christian like feeling and fervor is waning across the, the board, and like it's not purely sinister or malevolent. It's that like young people broke away from their families and went off on their own because it's stifling and suffocating to be in the quote longhouse but i think young people i i am gonna disagree with you a little bit i think more young people are coming to church though the numbers are still slim you know but i think uh young people now weren't reared in particularly religious ways Mm -hmm. so there is you could make the case that younger people are like reapproaching religion maybe on their own mm-hmm. terms i do think that there will be i do think religion will triumph but mm-hmm. i think it is just it's going to be a really long time it's not we're not in like the midst of a of a <laughs> counter reformation or anything i think it's just it's just really going to take a, a very very long time yeah but the I, the catholics the trad caths in particular scare the shit out of me because what do they want you know politically uh they want more immigration and 
less abortion. Some of them. The, Some of them. The, the, the kind of popular mainstream ones. That's really what they're mm. advocating for. They're advocating for like um, this kind of like maudlin, moralistic, almost like leftoid position. There is very, again, there's, I think. No, no, variance. I believe that, but yeah. that, that freaks me out. And also like, you know, I would just, but be I like, don't, yeah, I don't think the Catholics need to be accruing political power, especially in America. Yeah. yeah. Where it's a, it doesn't, it's just not what Catholicism even means. But I think like the, the aggressively Christian verbiage of someone like Kanye, um, his, you know, his desire to implement a Christian theocracy in America which I'm not making up. I read that in a in a Rolling Stone mm-hmm. article yet again. Mm-hmm. Um, so it must be true. Uh, fact check by Patriots, as they say. <laughs> the kind of like Christian speak is designed also to deflect away from the reality of why Trump was popular, um, which was A, the force of his personality, mm-hmm. and B, his winning issues, which were immigration and foreign <laughs> policy. That's what he ran on. Yeah. And that's why he won. To your point, like... Kanye West is not a Catholic. Right. He's like a non-denominational Christian. Right. Which all of all, tons of America is. It's just like random kinds of Protestantism. Mm-hmm. Um, which is clearly very flawed or there wouldn't be so many different kinds. <laughs> yeah. And they don't really have a unifying like principle the way that Catholicism does. Yeah. But even in America, Catholicism is just really just a you know a well, shell we, a we shell have a, of its form we have a catholic self. president we have a catholic, we do have a catholic president yeah and we do Who's be having some abortion. catholics on the supreme court mm-hmm. um pelosi is catholic oh yeah though i think i read recently she's in some diocese she's not permitted to receive communion why for being uh she's an pro, evil bitch for being pro yeah for being, <laughs> evil bitch, for being pro-life oh okay um because what it really means to be christian catholic isn't just this isn't yeah this like woo mm-hmm. kind of like feel good iconography <laughs> incense <laughs> um that's all great but it, there is like dogmas that you'd have you have to adhere to, yeah. to to be a catholic that just is what it is and lots of people really struggle with with that which is why i don't think it will see like a risk people have a really hard time dealing with like a whole, paradoxical ideas which catholicism Mm -hmm. requires you to right and so no there i don't think there will be a religious resurgence now 